Assembly lines have come a long way since the production of the Ford Model T, and now a company in Henderson is looking to write the next chapter in automation. 13 Action News anchor Todd Quinones shows you the amazing engineering at work in this edition of Nevada Builds. We're going to go in and look at the way we uh, automatically manufacture facial masks. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at this. All right, beautiful. Speed, efficiency, quality. That is the focus for RS Automation USA. The CEO Tony Wright gave me a tour here of this demo facility in Henderson. They essentially are building the brains for any type of automation. This is the heart of what you guys do yeah. what you're about. Yeah, this is this is what we do. Yeah. Right? And this stuff. This is this stuff controls the motors very fine-tuned motors. This automation line is built to show off what they can do, and it also has a useful byproduct. This is the, the final version. Oh, yeah, now, it comes yeah. through, it flips over there. As you can see, it's got no ear band at the moment. Right. This machine puts the ear band on. The finished product, KN95 masks. In this whole process, how long does this take to, to make a mask? Well, like I say, we do 70 masks per minute. RS Automation is a Korean company. It is developing technology that has all kinds of applications. We are producing OLED TVs for LG. We're doing work for Samsung. Our equipment is using everything from ma car manufacturing to um, beer making. In December, Wright set up shop in Henderson with the goal of providing high-tech solutions to manufacturing problems and challenges. He's looking right now to hire more than a dozen engineering design employees while also helping diversify our local economy. So we're not doing gambling, we're not doing gambling machines, we're not doing service industry stuff. We're truly a high tech company and I'm hoping that more and more manufacturers will move into Henderson and Nevada and will utilize our products in helping to manufacture their their, their products. And it's all at a lower cost than you might expect. So these small companies that thought this kind of automation, this technology was out of out of bounds for them, right. not so much anymore. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's in the reaches of the small and medium manufacturers. 20 years ago, only big manufacturing companies could automate, right. put robots in their plants. Uh, a unit like that 20 years ago would probably cost about $10,000. Right. That would just be for the hardware. The unit now is about 400 bucks the brains of automation, and it's Nevada built. Todd Quinones, 13 Action News. Very cool stuff there. We'll